Welcome to our virtual tour into Conception Abbey and Conception Seminary College. My name is Father Etienne and I'm really excited to show you around this beautiful campus where you'll get to have a sense of the daily life of our seminarians and the places they get to go and work. St. Benedict says that everything needs to begin with prayer and so let us begin our tour at the center of our prayer on campus, our Basilica. A church as dignified as possible, a monastery simple yet solid. With these words, our founder, Abbot Fro and Conrad, conveyed his vision of what would become Conception Abbey. For nearly a century and a half, this basilica is the heart of Conception. Everything we do here flows from within the church, and the monks gather here six times a day, and the seminarians join us regularly for prayer and mass. Forming seminarians in the Benedictine tradition begins with teaching them about ora et labora, work and prayer, and Lexio Divina. And it is here that our seminarians get to participate in our liturgy and learn important lessons about its practice, its meaning, and its theology. And so here they are formed as men of God. So let's continue on our journey and on our tour and start heading downstairs. Hey, Dominic, how are you? Hello, brother. I'm good, how are you? Wonderful, so I'm on a virtual tour with our guests, and okay, I was wondering wonderful. if you'd be willing to come along with me and kind of Absolutely. help them out. Absolutely. I'd wonderful. So this is Dominic Denny from the Archdiocese of Oklahoma City, and he's going to be joining us for our tour. We're going to head downstairs to our refectory. So this is the student refectory. This is where the formation staff and the students share their meals each and every day. And we really get to know each other very well through the conversations that we have at our meals regarding to whatever's going on in our lives or what's happening with classes. And we also have a wonderful opportunity to learn how to serve one another as we rotate as waiters for our community dinners each week. That's awesome, Dominic. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, we are going to head up to the residence halls now, so I'm going to let you enjoy your meal and uh, have a great day. Thank you. All right. Well. Thanks. Well, welcome to St. Joseph Hall, where our seminarians live. Living in community is important for part of our formation because community life is that structure which helps build up and support one another in all the work that we do. Hey, hey Umberto, folks. how are you? I'm doing well, and yourself? Wonderful, it's really good that I got to run into you. I was yes. wondering, could you show us your room so the people on the tour can see it? Of course, let's go. All right. This way, yeah, follow me. Actually, my room is right here. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. come on in. So Father, this is my bed. This is where I rest at night. Here's my home altar where I like to pray daytime prayer. And over here is my study section where, you know, I put my essays together and things like that and read. So this is where I begin and end my days. Wonderful. It sounds like you stay pretty busy. <laughs> so wonderful. So we're going to continue on our journey. Thank you for showing us your room and we'll see you here in a little bit. Awesome. All right. We often have our guests come and visit our gift shop where they're able to buy cards from our printery house and also pick up a variety of different Christian items that they like. Oh, oh hey. hey, how's it going? It's good, good. Cool. You wanna step outside? Wonderful. It's good to see you again. Yes. I truly love being on campus during the fall. 
the weather is so nice and you really get a wonderful opportunity to see God's hand in creation. It is beautiful. Whenever I see the towers driving back up to Conception from Oklahoma City, I get filled with this grand sense of peace. And just, I feel like that that's something that is experienced by all of the other seminarians, monks, and guests that come to visit or live at Conception. Just because being out in the countryside with the, the quiet and the peace just pr truly provides a perfect environment for discernment and prayer, being able to hear what our Lord has to say to us. Yeah, the... The abbey here is almost 150 years old now, and the church itself was built only a few years after we were founded. And the towers really have become a symbol of our stability here and really a sign of God's own strength in our lives. Yeah, that's beautiful, absolutely. Where do you think we should take them next? Hey guys, what's up? Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, how's, how's it going? going? Good. What are you guys doing? We're just taking the guests on a tour. Oh, a little virtual tour, also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Uh -huh. Good. So we were actually just about to head to St. Mowers, but I have to help set up for the live stream Vespers here in a little bit. Right. Would you two be willing to kind of help out oh. with that? Yeah, we'd be willing to. Yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. Sure. Thanks. Okay. So I will leave you guys in the capable hands of Father Paul Scheller and Noah Huddleston from the Diocese of Grand Island in Nebraska. Uh, where they will lead you on the rest of the tour. And I will see you guys here in a little bit. We are in front of St. Mar Hall. St. Mar Hall is our main academic and administration building. This is where the seminarians have their classes. We spend a lot of time in there. And there's also different student spaces and activities that are involved here, especially the place where the students pray. Hey, uh, do you mind if we show them the oratory? Let's take them inside. Come on. Cross Oratory is the place, the primary place where the seminarians pray the Liturgy of the Hours and we have Mass during the week. It's a place where they grow in their relationship with Christ and it's a central place for the seminarians. This space up here where uh, they deepen their relationship and the love of Christ. I you know, Father Paul, last year coming in as a first year student, I noticed that uh, every day when I would arrive at prayer in the morning, you'd always be there. And you'd be there for a significant amount of time. So uh, obviously, you know, seeing, seeing your holiness, I desire to strive <laughs> to be like that. And so I uh, decided to kind of show up early this year and get that prayer in in the oratory and really focus my day on Jesus. Uh, it's, how has it been for you? It's been really huge for my spiritual life. Just, I've been, uh, I've, I've just seen nothing but fruits and it's just really good kind of spending time with our Lord. Right. Uh, and, and recognizing the intimacy that he has for there's something about the silence of the mornings too that is very beautiful and just opening your heart to God. And Absolutely. Being very, uh, you know, waking up before everybody else is up. Everyone thinks it's crazy, but yeah, it's truly when the Lord can speak to you. And it's almost like it's just us two, you know? And that's how you just grow. Mm -hmm. further. I completely agree. So students who will graduate from Conception Seminary College, like myself, will graduate with a bachelor's degree in philosophy. But some students come to seminary already having a bachelor's degree, and so they will come into our pre-theology program. A lot of the philosophy degree, I think, is geared at trying to make you better and more, I guess, critical thinkers, so that you can reason through a lot of things when it comes to faith and build upon that foundation for when you would go off and study four more years in theology school. So a lot of what they do is always here in seminary is always geared towards uh, fostering that deeper relationship with Christ, certainly through their studies and their service to one another. Absolutely. Do you have a lot of classes up here on, the, on this floor? I do, I have all my classes up here. 
Uh, so a couple in that classroom right there with, with Dr. Fuquay and man, <laughs> just like you said, he really pushes us to- uh, Challenges you. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's all very good though, enlarges our brain. It's almost like with, with uh, even with exercises, you know, oh, when you can be stretched more just by, by growing, stretching the degree more muscles. Hi there, Amy. Hi, hey, Amy. how are Amy. you? Good. Well. Amy is our director of administration and uh, she's wonderful to have around. She basically runs the whole place. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, uh, we were wondering if Father Victor is in. Yes, he's in there. Go right in. Father Victor is our president rector. Let's take a look. Father Victor, we are here and was wondering if you want to give a few words to our guests uh, joining us on the virtual tour. Absolutely. Welcome, everyone. It's great to have you. Uh, I'm Father Victor, President Rector of the Seminary. And here at Conception Seminary College, we take a holistic approach to forming these seminarians to be men of God, focusing on four areas of formation, which would be spiritual, pastoral, academic, and human formation. So we work with the whole person. Prayer, of course, is also an important part of our formation here, the work that we do. We pray for the seminarians every day. We pray for our dioceses where they come from. We pray for you, our friends, our families, all those who have supported us over the years. And we greatly appreciate that you join with us in prayer with, uh, with us so that we can uh, support these young men in their vocation and help them to grow in these many ways. Hey, Hi, Xavier. Victor. Do you have an extra ping pong ball? We ran out in the alumni union. Actually, I do. Uh, here you go. Father Paul, I heard that this alumni union was actually paid for by a past partnering for a future priests event. That's exactly right, Noah. Actually, a few years ago, we were able to renovate this entire space because of the generous contributions of many of our benefactors from the PFP event. And we've also been able to update our security system, uh, update the renovations in the library and other spaces, especially on your lounges and your residence floors and many other technologically uh, oriented updates. And so we're very grateful for all the contributions. Yeah, we spend a ton of time here in the union, as you guys can see. And so we just, we really thank you for your donations. Noah, we're actually running close to Vespers time. Yeah. So we're going to wrap this up a little bit. Sounds so good. we're going to head to Vespers. Oh no, we're running late! Uh, that's okay, I know how to get there really fast. What do you mean? Let's go! Thank you for joining us. We hope that you can join us for Vespers in our evening program. May God bless you.